one day in the month, the last Sunday of every month, where I'm suggesting that people should stop driving. Don't use any motorized vehicle for at least one day in the month. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a really good thing to do. I mean, it's only a small thing, once a month, but, uh, you know, it's a start. And I think if people did that, they'd realise that you can cycle places or walk, you know, and also it'd make the streets nicer. You can, uh, in some places, I think they do roller skating and they have days like that where you can um, just take the streets without your car. I think it's great. Our public transport system need to do something to encourage people to do that as well. Make, make it more safe for children to travel in town or whatever and make it more accessible. So if we could do that, then yeah, that would be I definitely think it's a good idea, as long as you can, uh, you know, as long as it works out. Because I know a lot of people are very, very stubborn on, you know, global warming. It's a fantastic one. idea because um, it would protect the environment. There would be so much less carbon emissions, you know, and maybe people could do some walking or ride a bike or something, bicycle, you know. So it could both be healthy for the people themselves. Yeah, it's a good idea though. Yeah. It's a good idea in, yeah, in theory it's a good idea. But, but I don't know if people would do it because of how much, yeah, because of how much people do it. I rely. believe, you know, driving, if everyone stopped driving one day, you know, it could save the atmosphere. I don't, I don't believe all the pollution's going in the world right yet. This country and the whole world and they all say they're going to, you know, get together and have a, you know, summit and all that right yet. Well, I don't believe any of that. If, if, if you don't do anything today, right yet, nothing, tomorrow's another day and, you know, if you don't do it today, then by tomorrow... It's an excellent idea. We've all got to do something, haven't we, to change the world. Stop this global warming. I think if um, one day out of every month uh, could help stop uh, the change, I think it would be absolutely fantastic. What would I do? Um, well, apart from catching the bus, <laughs> I think I'd probably cycle actually. I like cycling. Because even though it's a wintry day today, but it's nice and sunny, it's a good day to get out. Some people might not be able to do it because they need to visit family that are elderly or that are sick. And what I'm saying to them, should choose another day. Just pick another day in the month where you can stop driving just for well, one day. Well, I'd make uh, public transport a lot more reliable. You know, more buses and more trains and stuff. Because at the end of the day, the main, pe the main reason people drive in the first place is because public transport just isn't good enough. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't get you where you really want to go. It's not particularly, you know, high class. You know, as much as like being in your own car, like your own, your own music and all your little trinkets. Home, spend more time with the children. Go out to the park with the children. Um, take the bus, take the train. Even take a, take a taxi if they have to with other people. But uh, leave your car at home. You know it makes sense. I think it's, we probably are creating it um, by what we do, you know. You know, for example, um, say for example the, the wrappings that people use like in supermarkets, lots of plastic, um, that's not very easily destroyed and it damages the environment. So that's one example where I think we are damaging the environment. In the winter, the winter seems to be lasting longer and longer and it's getting a lot wetter in the summer. Which no good for us, really. Summer just doesn't really seem to exist, but we had like two weeks of summer this year. And when I was a kid, that's disgraceful. When I was a kid, summer used to be like three or four months. Now for it to just rain, and it's not just rain, it? it's monsoons and floods and stuff like that. We seem to be getting weather this year, dealing with the nearest step. I do believe the situation which is going on is causing October to be like March. In March to be like December, and it's all to do with global warming and what the government's doing to this world all around us. There's a hole in the atmosphere, and something needs to be done about it. All what's wrong could end up dying. Thank you very really much. That's all I've got to say. We've got to deal with really. So if we don't deal with it, it's going to be left to the generation after us and the generation after them to deal with it. And it's a problem we've created for ourselves, isn't it, really. We're all too materialistic of thinking, it's all about how many tellies you can have in your house, how many cars you can have in your driveway, and that helps the planet, and the planet's the thing that's sort of life, so unless we do something to correct ourselves, we're never going to correct the planet. It seems there's a lot of
conflicting views from scientists. And you know, some people say that it's it's you know mostly us. Some people say it's the cycles of the sun. Yeah, you know, it's hard to like know who you know what's the real thing. There's old in the atmosphere. So scientists say, so the scientists say, it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter every day. So the scientists say, so the scientists say, see chloroform or carbon, it's a gas of some sort. They call it CFC gas just for short. They use some of it, export some of it to the developing countries on the planet. But chloroform or carbon, it burn up all around. And you see that the earth is grown and grown we use some of it it's brought some of it to the developing countries and this planet well no we're not having this no more you stand for your rights and you get much more